بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we will discuss sine wave and sine patterns uh, the first uh, slide uh, shows uh, some figures uh, the first one on the left is the crank shaft as you can see it is a rod attached to the piston it moves in a linear way but at the same time it's attached to a crank shaft as we see whenever it goes downwards or comes up uh, upwards according to the uh, benzene uh, combustion it uh, moves uh, the uh, the flywheel in circles this is how the car moves and this is an illustration uh, showing uh, this the bar attached to uh, the crank shaft as you can see whenever it goes downwards or goes upwards it it it, it makes a complete circle uh, meanwhile it moves its uh, uh, flywheel uh, the figure on the right shows the uh, refractometer or the interferometer where we can see that uh, there is a source of light giving two uh, beams to the different chamber. One, we, one of them we call a sample a chamber where we put, suppose, the halogen oxygen and the other one is the reference where there is no presence and the, uh, uh, it is based on the uh, refractive index whenever the light, light hits something it uh, undergoes refraction, see? So we have uh, 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 an adjusted uh, uh, prism, and then we, we, by a telescope, we can uh, later on, we'll see how do we uh, uh, calibrate vaporizers. And this is uh, an illustration showing what's the mean of uh, two uh, uh, sine waves attached to each other. Uh, both of them are uh, at the same uh, phase, uh, they create what we call a bright fringe, and whenever they are out of phase, uh, that means they are not uh, stamped on each other. They create what we call the dark phase, as we can see from the figure. And this is less the uh, 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 interference uh, filter, which is based on on the refractive ind index. Also, uh, what's the mean of that? It is a device or a coated. Uh, 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 device which is uh, uh, on the uh, course of the light. You see, whenever the light hits uh, this coat, you can see in the middle of it, it undergoes uh, any light hits uh, a surface. Of course, it, ha it, it it's reflected or part of it goes through it. You see, uh, according to, uh, to the wavelengths, according to the uh, media, and according uh, to the density. You see, so uh, this is a code where where the uh, 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 constructive wave yeah, means that the, the wave I am in need of it uh, can make it pass. You see, and uh, the destructive uh, wave are being rejected. So this is the way how do we uh, gain uh, the uh, required wavelengths uh, we uh, are in need of. Uh, suppose as infrared rays uh, to detect the carbon dioxide uh, concentration needs a, a wave uh, with a special uh, lens. The first slide uh, shows, first of all, the concept of uh, uh, sine wave. Of course, uh, sine, uh, most of the waves most of the waves are uh, a complex uh, waves and um, uh, they are uh, basically ba based on a, com a combination of sine waves. So this is the importance of sine wave. Whenever I want to uh, uh, analyze any co complex wave, uh, I found later on there that they are made of several uh, different wave uh, patterns. So we have different wave patterns as uh, as shown, we have, of course, the so uh, a, a tooth, we have the sign, which is the most famous, and we have the square, you see? So this is the first point we must uh, notify. Uh, of course, how do we create uh, the sine wave? As we said before, it is uh, important in anesthesia because it explains the, 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 the function of repetition. You see, whenever I want to re repeat the ECG, the EEG, it is a, rep a, re a repetition. So we, we we utilize this sine wave in it. So how do we create the sine wave? First of all, as we can see from the figure, we have a magnetic field 
and we have a wire going through this magnetic moving of this wire creates uh, the alternating current this is how do we create electricity and at the same way it, it creates the uh, sine wave you can see the sine wave with its uh, complete cycling uh, 30 uh, 160 degrees you see uh, on the other hand we can use what we call the uh, crank shaft as we said before i'll show it later on inshallah uh, it is a it is a, a rod attached to the piston and goes of course upwards and downwards uh, uh, it is attached to the flying wheel, so it it, it makes the, the the wheel uh, uh, run, uh, runs uh, in a circle way. You see, so the linear movements uh, is shifted uh, to a circle movement. So so this circle movements create an angle. This angle, as we can we will see in the the the, the statement that is uh, has a sign. The angle has a sign. The sign, of course, we know that it is the relation between two uh, sides of the uh, straight tri straight uh, uh, triangle you see so we can create a curve uh, correlating the, uh, the the angle a and the, uh, uh, the 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 r which is the lens uh, th this lens and uh, the the, the sign uh, of the angle so we create uh, an, 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 an x and y we, uh, creating the sine wave you see i will showing uh, i will show it later on a, in a bigger diagram what are the characters of the sine wave we have three the phase and we have the wavelengths and amplitude and we have the frequency of course the phase uh, of course as we said it is made of uh, of uh, of a 36 uh, uh, degree uh, whenever it completes one cycle of course we can divide the cycles uh, accordingly, uh, 90 or 180 and, and, and so forth. Uh, this is the phases. So we are creating different phases. This is the phase, and this is the phase, and this is the phase, you see? So uh, this is the first thing. The second thing, the wavelengths amplitude. Every every uh, every uh, sine wave has a lens. The lens has been at, uh, 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 figured out from the top of the amplitudes due to the or uh, the distance between is between two uh, similar points, you see, as from here to here. But uh, most probably take it from the upper part of the uh, of the amplitudes. The amplitudes, of course, is the height. So we have an amplitude and we have a wavelength. One multiplying both of the of them gets what we call the frequency. So the frequency is the multiplication of both of them. What's the meaning of frequency? Frequency. Uh, is the, uh, the, the, in the systemic generation, we call it a hertz. Suppose the wavelength uh, has a frequency of 10 hertz. That means that in, it, in one second, it, 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 it has 10 uh, uh, sine waves, you see? So uh, the, 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 the frequency, it be one tenth of a second. You see, it will take one tenth of the second, you see? So whenever I multiply both of, the, uh, of them, uh, we get the volume. Suppose, suppose the wavelength is one meter and the frequency is ten hertz. Multiplying both of them will create will create the velocity. It, it, it will be uh, one over ten second in one meter. Of course, sound wave uh, they have uh, whenever the velocity. Uh, I'm sorry, it's constant. Uh, the, the the frequency and the wavelength are uh, going to be correlated. If I increase the frequency, the wave length will be uh, uh, lessened, you see? So uh, as long as the velocity is constant, so we can, what's the meaning of uh, uh, a high-pitched sound and a, a low-pitched, and how do we create the red light and the blue light from uh, the different frequency and the wave lengths? The electromagnetic spectrum, I will show it later on. It is a spectrum of light. You see, all the lights are uh, different types of radiation or whatever are made of electromagnetic waves. They have a special frequency and they have a, 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 a special, uh, the velocity most probably is constant. Uh, we have the velocity, of course, of sound, as we know, says 330 meter, uh, per, uh, per meter per second. And of course, the sound wave is much, uh, 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 speeding than that. So we have different waves. Oh, these different waves have a special uh, wavelengths and a special uh, frequency. You see, 
So I want to, to, to mention, you, you, you ought to read, have a, 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 a look on, on the different types of infrared and laser and what's supposed, and we, to, to understand what is the meaning of, of uh, the electron volt, which is uh, the character of the uh, 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 X-rays. Uh, it, it electron uh, volt, uh, according to the systemic international system, is the uh, energy required to move one electron uh, through a, a potential of one uh, volt in a vacuum. So this is uh, this is the mean of electrical uh, electron volt. So we have uh, regarding uh, the X-ray and the gamma rays, we have a kilo and uh, and and mega electron volt as a measurement. Of course, the infrared rays, of course, is uh, is uh, is used to and the measure carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide. And of course, we know the radio therapy um, creates heat. And this is utilized in physiotherapy. Of course, we can measure oxygen saturation. Oximeters, of course, is based on infrared. And uh, in the systemic international system, of course, uh, gases and vapor, whenever they are uh, subject to, to electric magnetic wave, uh, if they uh, partially absorb it, they release this uh, wave uh, with a special frequency, uh, identifying the type of gas, and we'll mention later on in what we call Raymond effect. Of course, in the systemic and the national uh, system, uh, the frequency of the charge of cesium-133 is a method to uh, uh, create what we call the second. So the second, one second is the frequency of the charge of cesium-133. Sorry for inconvenience. I'm sorry. Now we come to the last slide. Uh, of course, uh, the, the, to, to talk about uh, ultrasonography, uh, we ought to know uh, that the uh, ultrasonic uh, waves are beyond the capability of uh, hearing of uh, our, uh, our nature as human beings. So uh, it, is, it, is, it is a method to uh, detect, uh, of course, as we can see, it can detect uh, uh, through the pitch changes by the frequency. Uh, Whenever the, the subject is moving away of us, of course, the pitch is being affected accordingly to the change of the frequency. And this can be uh, utilized to, uh, to uh, identify the, the velocity of cars. Uh, of course, also we can detect uh, the fetal heart sounds by the reflection. We have an incidence rays and we have a reflecting rays. This, uh, this uh, difference, uh, and the uh, utilizing of the density of the different media and the uh, time taken for the, uh, the ultrasound to return to visualize uh, uh, or creating images, you see. Uh, all these are based on the what we call the piezoelectric crystal. Piezoelectric crystal are crystals. Whenever they are electrified, they release uh, electromagnetic waves. Of course, uh, the, it has a spectrum. And this spectrum movement to visualize the sector of what we are uh, examining, uh, it is moved by a motor. Instead, we can have different uh, piezoelectric, and this nowadays is used different instead of using a motor to vis visualize the, uh, the, the, the cut uh, area uh, much uh, better, you see. Of course, we can measure the cardiac output by the velocity of uh, blood uh, passing through the water, but we must put our in mind that the caliber of the aorta will affect uh, this uh, this uh, reading. Of course, the gel minimizes the uh, attenuation of the, it, it is a good conductor. You see, it, it, it minimizes the attenuation. So this is why we do, we use uh, uh, gel. Uh, of course, ultrasonic uh, therapies will know and physiotherapy to 
to induce heat or not, but uh, care ma must be taken and uh, otherwise what will create what we call cavitation uh, from too much increase in uh, in uh, energy now we come to the most important thing is the interference interference is uh, is what we uh, we, we utilize the character of uh, of uh, of optic uh, rays. Whenever an, any optic uh, rays hits a subject, of course, it undergoes a, a, a reflection. We call it reflect, ref, refractive index. It has been shifted to and uh, with an angle. You see, so this is a, a, a character utilized to uh, calibrate calibrate vaporizer. So the apparatus of which we call a refractometer or interferometer is based on two having two uh, chambers, each of the chambers. Uh, first of all, the, 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 we have what we call the sample chamber containing suppose uh, halocene and oxygen, the other uh, uh, reference contains nothing. And then we pass light, as we said uh, we, before in the first slide, through both of them. And then the uh, refractive endings uh, occurring through, the, through each of them will be reflected on a special uh, mirror. And uh, uh, we have uh, two uh, mirrors. One of them is fixed, and other one is uh, adjustable. You can move it, uh, and, and through it, I can move it uh, in a way to adjust so that the both uh, rays coming out are uh, in the range where I can uh, differentiate between the concentration of the halogen in the, in the sample and uh, in the reference difference. You see. So whenever the two sine waves, as we said before, are union to each, uh, to each other, and both of them are in the same phase, they, call, they, they create what we call the uh, bright fringe, the bright light, you see? And when they are out of phase, they, call, they create what we call the dark fringe. So this is the difference between the, uh, the rejoining of two different uh, types of sine waves. So this has been utilized uh, so, so that I can uh, calibrate uh, vaporizer. Of course, this 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 instrument is non-specific. What's the meaning of that? It it is can it can be used for to, to analyze any other vapor. And the second thing, it it cannot identify uh, the mixture of uh, vapors. But if I know preliminarily what are the components of this uh, mixture, I can I can uh, evaluate the concentration of each. So these are the, 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 the points that I must put in uh, my consideration, of course, when I uh, use the refractometer. Of course, nowadays they are portable uh, apparatus. In the first, they, they were dif difficult to be calibrated. Now, nowadays they are uh, accurate as the uh, uh, bigger one. Uh, the, the, the last point, the last point, uh, is as we said the, the the filters and the filters of course we said before that they are a special uh, materials and this special uh, materials this is the figures i want to show you first of all this is the uh, crank uh, shaft as we see this is the piston and this is the rod and this is the crank shaft so uh, up or downwards movement or uh, linear movements uh, of this uh, uh, rod uh, creates the movement the circle movements of the a flywheel where the car can uh, move and at the same time it creates the signed wave and this is this is uh, how it, it it goes upwards and then makes circle creating an angle and of course we have a distance uh, uh, this is the larger uh, part in the uh, in the in the arm of the, the straight uh, angled uh, triangle and creating a, 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 an angle A. And this sign is correlated by uh, R and D, as we know. And then we can create a graph to, 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 to construct the sine wave by uh, the, the, the X by the uh, R uh, sine A and the uh, Y, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the, the uh, y by the r sine a and the uh, uh, x is by the angle a this is the movement of the crankshaft as you see making a circle making a circle to create the sine wave 
and these are two waves whenever they are imposed on each other they create either a, a, a superimposing positive or superimposing negative they, they are both of them are 20 uh, 90 degree i'm sorry out of phase each of them are different in 90 this is the uh, amplitude as we see uh, of a wave and this is the wavelength of any uh, either from the top or uh, uh, from uh, two similar points you see multiplying both of them yields uh, the velocity and is this is the refractometer light source and then we have beam two beams going through uh, the, the, the two chambers and then this is the telescope where we visualize the difference between the uh, refractive index of both of these uh, chambers and accordingly we adjust the uh, presence so that uh, we, we, we get the degree uh, required so that I can know the difference between the refractive index of both of them. This is how uh, do we create the bright uh, bright uh, fringe, and this is the dark fringe. Two uh, two uh, sine wave are superimposed in a in a in a, in a not uh, not in, not they are not in phase. So we did create the, the dark one. Whenever they are in 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 phase, they they cause a potentiation and increase in uh, the amplitude. And this is the filter, as you can see. This is the rays, and it's been uh, either uh, bypassed. Uh, through a special code. This code uh, is utilized only to uh, make uh, this wave uh, uh, matter required to pass. And uh, the, this is, we call it constructive, and this we call it destructive, the one which is reflected. I don't want this, I want this. So this, this uh, part in the middle of the code is uh, capable of uh, con uh, uh, inducing uh, or creating this required uh, wavelengths. And this is the spectrum, I'm sorry, this is spectrum of the EEG and the EMG I, I didn't mention before. This is a different frequency of, uh, of course, the, the ECG has a frequency from zero to 100, uh, or the EMG has a lower frequency. And the beta, the beta is not, is, has a, a larger among the uh, four types of the uh, electro uh, EEG. Uh, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I hope that I succeeded.